John 11, 25 to 26, Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lenny. Have you ever wanted to start an AI faceless YouTube channel that makes money and gets views without ever showing your face? Bible verse channels are quality blowing not. It's now with millions of views by simply posting beautiful visuals, common voiceovers, and powerful scripture. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to automate I mean, to have Bible verse channel using these free AI tools and N8N. From voice generation to video creation and also uploading, everything can be done has free. Let's build your faceless YouTube channel today. Let's get started. First things first, um, I just want to walk you through the entire work of Bill first uh, so that you get an understanding of how the web through works before I dive into the tutorial. So this is the word through I have here right now. I know it's a quite huge um, and then I promise you it's not complicated. So the first part of the workflow is where I do have my trigger. I'm using a Google Sheets trigger. I do have a Google Sheet I created here that has topics. So the idea is to really generate uh, Bible verses based on like a topic or a theme I have been here. So that's the first thing, which is my Google Sheets trigger. Because I'm using a Google Sheets trigger, I need to use APIs. So if you don't have APIs configured for Google products, make sure that you do have your APIs configured to do so. You just need to go to um, the Google Cloud console to configure your API keys. And do make sure that you include like Google Sheets and then YouTube in the scope as well. Now, the next part of my flow is where I generate the music. And to generate my music, I'm leveraging APIs from Juno AI. I already do have a tutorial on how I do this. I'm going to leave that as well in the description box for you for easy navigation. And I also do have the templates on my Ko-Fi page. Um, I'm also going to link all that in my comment section so that you can navigate the coffee page and then download the template. So this is where I generate my music. Um, and once my music is generated, I generate the image um, that I'll be using for the video. If you've seen any of these um, Bible verse channels, all they typically are is like a still image with voiceovers and mentrix. So I'm going to generate my image and to do so, I'm using ChatGPT to generate my image. I'm not using any fancy AI image generator tool. I'm just really using ChatGPT. Um, so if you don't have API keys enough for ChatGPT, then you really need that to add to this via the text image tool. Then the next part of my flow, it's where I also uh, generate the scriptures. So if you remember from the beginning, I did mention that I'm going to be generating scriptures based on a theme I have in my spreadsheet. So really this coding here is to select the latest topic in my spreadsheet here. So you who will be given with is Easter just because it's Easter season. And then this part of my flow is where I generate the Bible verse. And once the Bible verse is generated, I generate the speech. Um, and then once my speech is generated, I transcribe it as well. And then I save that to the file. And then this part of the flow is where all the magic happens. So I'm basically going to be combining the audio files, which includes the music, the voiceovers, the subtitle files, and then I'm going to be posting them on YouTube. So it looks like quite a hefty flow, but then trust me, if it's a door once we go through it step by step, you get a hang of how each of these notes work. Okay, so now that I have explained how this flow works, a spot building so coming into n8n here for my trader i'm using google sheets so really what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come in here and take on the plus button click on on app events and for the app event i'm gonna be using google sheets and i'm gonna say on raw abit or a btech okay in terms of the credentials like i already have my api key set up for google sheets so that's all i'll be using document i'm just gonna be selecting the bible topics sheets that i created and is really in sheet one so if you look at it the title is bible topics and the change sheets one so that's how you know what to say so we're going to use a new version and i'm not going to be adding any option if i should head to this right now you'd realize that i would have two topics so now i have two topics but all i really want is i just want to work with only one topic so in order to do so i'm going to be writing the code to make sure that it's just grabbing only one of the topics for me so in order to do so, I'm going to select the plus button here and I'm going to select code. And in the code, I'm just going to paste 
this particular code in here okay i do have the templates file which i'm gonna link in the comment section below so you'd have all the code you need as well if i should test this right now uh, as you can see it's returned the last item in this spreadsheet for me so i'm not gonna be testing every step just because i don't want to make the tutorial too long but next thing for us is to add an ai agent really we want the ai agent to generate a bible verse for us so i'm gonna click on this and i'm gonna click on advanced ai and i'm gonna click on ai agent to okay? and then for the agent i'm gonna select the tools agent and in terms of the source of prompt i'm gonna say be fine below and then for the schema i'm just gonna drag our topic in here okay so that looks good for now and then once i have the topic the next thing for me is to include a system message so the system message really is the instructions you want to give to um chat gpt so this is what i'm gonna say like you're really a helpful assistant that is generate and like one bible verse based on the input provided in the text field and i don't want to see any emojis i don't want to see any non-english characters in the text i only want to see a bible first and the text in the output no leader sentences no symbols and just remove amy hysterics i mean you need to be as specific as you can because you know with ai sometimes like it would go off and do its own thing <laughs> i'm intent of the chats model and could use deep seek but i'm just going to be using in chat gpt because i do have their api keys for these set up already and in terms of the credentials you have to set up your api keys and i'm using the gpt for all mini um i love it will be setting any options in here i'm just gonna leave it as that but now now uh, and then in terms of like the memory i'm gonna be using the windows buffer memory that's what i typically use every time um in terms of the key i'm just gonna change it and just keep it to topic so if i should actually as a key just mood right now you'd see the bible verse generated okay a bible verse has been generated for us so that's great okay so now that we have our bible verse generated for us the next thing is to generate the voiceover okay and in order to generate the voiceover we'll be using 11 laughs to generate the voiceover not to do so we need to create an http request a lot of like speech to text or text to speech generator tools but i really want to use uh, 11 laughs and again with 11 laughs they have a generous free version if you want to test this out then you have like generous api credits that you could use this is the documentation for the create speech so all we need to do is to just copy the crawl code in here and then we come back into our workflow here and then uh, we just import curl and we'll probably just keep it to the default uh, voice in there if you don't like the voice you don't want the default voice and you want something else feel free to like change it and then enter our api keys in here probably want to also enter the speech itself that you need so for instance if i come in here um, under the body apparently test here is like they have a dummy speech text here but that's not what we want what we want is really um the output of our ai agent so that is what we want the voice over should be about so that is what we are going to drag in there and then yes in terms of the the response should be in a file format and in terms of the name we are probably going to call it speech file once we've generated our speech we just want to save this to our disk so what we're going to do is we're going to click on this we look for the right files to disk and then what we want is the right node okay so we are going to store there's the in our tent folder speech file uh got mpga because that's the format in which we will receive it anyways the next step for us is to generate the slt file in order to generate the slt file we need to read the file okay you can read the file from disk we select the read file from disk option and then we put in the about plot from the previous action so in this case this is the file part okay so that's what you're gonna be using i'm gonna come in here and i'm gonna enter the file part in here so now that we've read the file we are going to be leveraging the speech to text portion in 11 lots this time around but then we want to create a transcript so what you have to do is we basically you come into 11 labs and then we copy the call code and then we turn back into our red flow here and then we click on the http request node here yeah, and then we import the call okay so we've put a call here again you need to put in your api keys on a center form beta first and then we put in the model ib guide v1 here again parameter to hide this time around i want to enter the inputs file name that needs to be um transcribed so i'm gonna say file and then i'm gonna put in beta and the file again is an input um 
from the API itself. So if you come in here, you realize that it's looking for a file, okay? To input the file in there. Because I want to have an SLT file, what I want to add as well is additional format, okay? So if you look in the API documentation, you could also return this in additional format. So really this is the input I'm gonna be copying. And then I'm gonna put this in here as well. So I'm gonna come in here and then I'm gonna say additional format. And in terms of the value, I'm just going to say the format should be the SLT file. So I'm going to put that in here. And then, okay, let's move on. Um, I'm a little bit in additional not data input I need. Uh, so I really need uh, timestamps. So I'm going to put in the timestamp. And in the timestamp, there are two options. You could use a word or you could use a data. I mean, based on the API documentation we see here, you could use word or character. Or if it's say name, it defaults to web. So I'm just just putting that in there and then now the last thing i'm gonna add is um this field here which is uh which is very important for us if we want to generate volume slt formats uh so i'm gonna say true because i think it defaults to false so you want to have that as well to make sure that everything is working great okay oh we have it in the json objects actually so what we want to do is we want to convert it to um, a binary file oh and then we save it to disk so i'm just gonna use the set field in here and in the set field i'm just manually gonna like create a field i'm um, just like a separated beta i'm just manually gonna create a field and i'm gonna call the field um captions okay i'm gonna call the field captions and i'm just gonna drag in my schema i'm just gonna drag the additional fields um objects in here okay. i'm gonna write a code to convert this object into a binary file okay so to do so i'm gonna be using the code node and let's come in here click on code and i'm gonna paste this code in here again i'm gonna bring the link to the json file in the comment section so that you have access to the code as well so this is the code i'm going to paste in here and now if i should land this right now as you can see we have our slt file uh generated for us this point what i'm going to appear is i'm just going to be writing um our source file as well to bisque so at this point we have our voice over ready we have our bible verses we have our the slt file which is our subtitle file also ready so we are good to go on that side as we know in order to create a video we need an image and we need the music as well okay so the next part of our workflow is where we are going to be generating the music itself okay so i already do have a tutorial on pretty much this whole part so i don't want to repeat that tutorial so i'll link that video in this video as well so that you can go check it out um because nothing really changes in this flow it's just similar um the only part that changes is the part where where we combine the audio, the two audio files we have because now we have the voiceover and we have the music file. So that is the only part that changes. So I'm just going to skip the steps um, where we generate the music and where we save it to file and where we get the music details. I'm going to skip all that part. I'm also going to skip the parts where we generate an image usually in Chargery T. And I'm just going to move on to the part where we can combine our audio um, into one audio file. Okay, so now that our audio file is trained, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine, because we have two audio files, which is um, the voiceover we created earlier on from this part of the tutorial, and then the music file we've just generated, I'm going to combine those into one audio file, okay? But our FFmpeg command can only take um one um go to your file okay so Zilla is an execute command and what i'm gonna do is really um, i'm just trying to like combine the audio files we have okay so this is what we're gonna do so we're gonna come in here and they're gonna combine the audio files we have okay so now we have our audio file we have our image we have our captions we need to combine all these three files together and that is where the magic happens okay so in order to combine them we really need an execute node as well so i'm gonna click on this and then i'm gonna select the execute node so in this is a cute node. Um, this is a command I'm gonna be using for the is a cute node. So really, what this command does is that it's looping over all the three items we have, which is the um, the merged audio, the captions, the image we've generated, and it's sort of like combining everything together into a video called tested altos. Okay, and we are using an alignment of eight so that it is intended 
from us as well. What does Y bias it to the it right? It if it's an existing file in the directory. At this point, our file looks really um, complicated. Um, but yeah, when your building does, you can like clean it up and make it look good. You could use like sub wet flows to make it a lot more prettier because some of these functionalities are really repeated. So that's fine. Now moving on, so this is where they combine everything, okay? This is where they combine everything. Let's just prive a read node so that after it runs, we'll test it to see if it's working, okay? So I'm little come in here and I'm gonna say read file from disk. And in the read node, really what I want is I'm just gonna be reading the test output file. Uh, so this is the point where we post it onto YouTube. So I'm gonna come in here and if I need the YouTube node, I usually like to use HTTP. <laughs> I use the HTTP node and it's a a lot more easier for me when I use it that way. So I'm going to be using the HTTP node. And again, I have a tutorial on how I do this in my previous video. So um, you could check that out as well. And then I'm going to use the post. And like I mentioned, make sure that you already have like your API key set up to allow you to like write to you and all that. So that's it really, guys. That is it. So, so this is the output. John 11, 25 to 26. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die. Okay, that is it for the tutorial. This has by far been my longest tutorial on this channel. Uh, and like I said, I really did a basic throw. So if you want to really create this for your own face test YouTube channel, uh, you want to leverage any of these AI automations in any end, then Boom makes sure that um, you are sort of like being critical about like the prompts and also make sure, make sure that the images that are submitted are actually what you want. Okay, so if you don't want to use that AI image generator tool from OpenAI, then you could use other video generator tools or other AI image generator tools as well. But that is it for today tutorials guys let me know in the comment section below if you found it helpful and if you did find it helpful don't forget to subscribe and like and share this tutorial and i'm also gonna be looking forward to your comments in the comment section below um thank you for watching and see you in the next one